Do you love traditional quilt blocks? Stick around, I have a good one for you today. Hi, I'm Roberta from Quilt Crafters Corner. Today, I want to talk to you about Jacob's Ladder. This block I originally did on day 49 of the Quilt Block a Day Challenge. I started the challenge to help you put together a better quilt block. Boy, did I learn a lot. I hope you did too. Jacob's Ladder is an interesting block. It's got great movement through it and it's it actually has got several variations that are real similar and go by different names. It's made with half square triangles and four patches. So let's take a look at Jacob's Ladder. The thing I love about this block is, is it's got great movement and direction in it. Now, the name Jacob's Ladder is not the only name that this block goes by. This block also goes by Underground Railroad, Road to California, off to San Francisco. And if you see a similarity there, it's a, about movement or going somewhere. And reading the Bible was a great part of family life. And so they named a lot of blocks after Bible verses and hence the name Jacob's Ladder. Then that's the one that really kind of stuck. But it's referred to as a lot of different names. So this is the block. And I really love this block. Like I said, there's a lot of movement in it. And you can see why it was called Underground Railroad. It almost looks like railroad tracks or a path with stepping stones. So this is the block. So we have four half square triangles right here and here. And then we have four patches. Now notice how the four patch, the, the dimension is going this way, one way, and then the colors are going the other way in the other direction. That's what makes this block so versatile and you can put it with anything. So let's take a look at how we make this block. The half square triangles are made with five inch squares and like I've done many times, I just take my air erase pen and I'm drawing my line right down the center of the block and that's giving me my cut line. So this will make, this block will make two, so you need to cut two five inch square blocks out of each color of fabric. Now what I originally did is I cut the width of fabric on two strips. So on uh, one strip of each color. So this is, I started with two five inch strips and this is what I have left. So actually this with the fabric, five inches, will make two blocks. You cut off uh, 20 inches and you will be left with 30 inches. So I cut my squares and then what I have left is I'll cut this in half into two and a half inch strips. So I will get two, in, two, two and a half inch strips for the rest of the length of fabric. So this will make, this strip of fabric will make two blocks. So there's my lines. I'll take that to my machine and I'll sew it. The next thing is, is then once I've sewn them and I've cut them in half, then I take them to my iron and press them. Now the other thing I always do, square your blocks up. It just makes it so much easier to put this together and you know you've got nice, nice square blocks and your diagonal ends at your point because that's going to only make nicer points for your for your block. So square these up, get them to where they're square, and tr just trim them up. And you can see some, some trimmings are more than others, but that's okay. You know, you just want to make sure you have a nice square, four and a half inch block. So that's, those are the, ha and those go right there. Those are those right there. Now, we have the two and a half inch strip, which is cut, you know, from the length of the fabric. This, I just sew them together and press to the dark side 
and then you're just cutting off two and a half inch wide strips. So there's one. There's two and just this is how it's going to go. So that's just going to go like that. Make sure you get those seams nested. Make sure that those seams are nice and nested and that they they work well, that they um, don't come apart. You know, even pop a little pin in there and hold it together until you get it to your machine. You know, pin here, pin here, and pin there. And then that way it'll stay together. And then you'll get a nice four patch where everything meets in the middle. And that's the rest of your squares, is this here. And direction depends on where it's at in the block. So this way it's going this way, and then this way it's going here. And just by changing that, changes your block. So that is Jacob's ladder. We have the half square triangles and the four patches. And just remember to be careful about your placement of your four patches and which direction you're going to. So we talked a little bit about the history of this block and how to cut it for, for you know, strip piecing, which is a lot easier and it's a lot less fabric. And we talked about how to put it together. So that's Jacob's ladder. I hope you enjoyed it. Now remember to square up your half square triangles to make sure that diagonal seam is on the points on the corners. Also, when you put your four patches together, remember to spin those seams so that your block lies flat. Now in the directions on the cutting, I said it was a five by width of fabric, which is about 40 to 42 inches. So you should get two blocks out of width of fabric. So you will cut two five inch squares and then two strips of two and a half by 10 and that will make your 20 inches. So this will make two blocks, just your width, five inches by width of fabric. So this pattern comes from quilterscash.com. It's free for you to print and use. So take advantage of that. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to subscribe, down in the corner on the, on the right hand corner of the logo, if you scroll over that with your mouse, the subscribe button will come up. If you want to receive notifications of when I release new videos, ring the bell. Also, I have a Facebook group called Quilter Swarm of like-minded quilters. So if you'd like to join that, Come over to Facebook on Quilter Swarm, answer the questions, and you can get right in. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.